just making it home. Left the gym, then left the store. Gonna make a really quick meal prep. It's gonna be tasty. What is going on guys and welcome to this week's meal prep. Here's a quick shot of all the meals I'm going to be making. And it is a his and hers, so I have four meals for myself. And then I made two meals for my girlfriend. And then here are all the groceries. As always with my meal prep videos, you can find a list of all the groceries in the description as well as a meal breakdown, so the protein, carbs, and fats. But let's get into the actual cooking for this video. I wanted to make something that was a little tastier, something I've actually been making often as of recent. I've been making a lot of steak, rice, and asparagus. So with this steak, I'm doing a pan-seared steak. It's a lean steak with a little bit of fat on it. And for my seasonings, I'm going simple. So I'm going with some coarse sea salt, and then I'm going to have some of this fresh ground peppercorn, and then I'm just going to, you know, flip them around. Once I'm done with that and my skillet is hot and it has the oil in it, I'm just gonna, you know, move it around a little bit, get the pan fully covered, and then sit that steak right there on the skillet and you want to hear that sound because you want that skillet to be hot i'm just going to sear the meat on each side for about 30 to 45 seconds and then i'll flip it and you want to see that nice golden brown from there i'm going to add some fresh garlic cloves so i'm just going to take this garlic smash it down and pull out these cloves. I'm gonna add that to the pan. I'm also going to be adding some fresh thyme and then I'm going to add a little bit of this light butter that I have to give it a little more flavor. Um, all these calories are calculated into the meal. Again, that's in the description, but then I'm just gonna kind of flip it every minute or so. And then I wanna take that those juices that are on there and kind of baste the meat in it. It's gonna make it so juicy, it, it's delicious. And I cook my steaks to about medium, rareish medium, uh, anywhere in there. So it'll take roughly five to eight minutes or so, just depending on how you like it. And then I wanna let it rest for about 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll start to cut the meat and it's gonna be perfect. And then I move on to the asparagus, which is Pretty basic, but I also like to make it in the skillet, so I just rinsed it. I cut the ends off of it, add a little oil, and then I'm gonna cook these with, again, just some simple seasonings. I got some salt, I got some pepper, and it'll take about seven to 10 minutes or so. Um, I do like mine a little bit uh, with a little bite, right? So I don't wanna overcook them and make them mushy. I don't want mushy asparagus. I like that little crunch. And when it comes to packaging, again, four of the meals are for me and two of the meals are for her. So you can see all the measurements in the description. And I'm gonna answer some questions that I normally answer at towards the end of the video just because I get them all the time. So I wanna answer these questions for you. Uh, how do I store these meals? These meals will be stored in the refrigerator. I don't freeze them. You could freeze them if you would like. Um, how, how many days do they last? Uh, with this many meals, I mean, it's gonna last me about four days, four to five days. And hers will only last about two days because she only has two meals. How do I reheat the meals? I typically reheat them in the microwave, but sometimes I will reheat them on the skillet with a little bit of oil. It'll bring back more flavor to them, but again, you'll have to factor in that additional oil into the calories. And I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video by yours truly, Water Jug Fitness. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, let me know what you think. It helps to make these videos better. I read your guys' feedback. I love to see it, and I'm out.